क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीड़ा Hey friends in the previous lecture we have got to know about how can we prepare alkyl halides along with that of we have understood that uh, what are the physical properties of alkyl halide and now we are going to talk about what are the chemical properties or what are the chemical reactions which are been exhibited by the alkyl halide so let us talk about it. so now let us talk about uh, the few uh, that is uh, reactions that are been exhibited by the alkyl halide so starting with the first one that is reaction of alkyl halide with that is the reaction of alkyl halide with aqueous qh or naoh solution so usually this kind of reaction whenever an alkyl halide is being basically it is been reacted with that of an aqueous qh or aqueous uh, nh solution usually a substitution reaction takes place over here and uh, we could obtain an alcohol so this is the chemical property that have been exhibited by the uh, alkyl halide so this was the first thing that i was talking about and now uh, with that uh, uh, in this topic or in this lecture i'm going to uh, that is i am going to talk about that which are the different kind of reaction that are been exhibited by the alkyl halides so there would be a separate lecture based on uh, this each kind of topic that has been discussed in this lecture so now let us talk about the second one that is what would be the reaction of alkyl halide with so the second is reaction of uh, the alkyl halide with that is moist ag2o or silver oxide so again it is a kind of substitution reaction but uh, the thing is uh, whenever we are talking about moist ag2o so moist ag2o is nothing but the reaction of ag2o with that of uh, there is uh, with that of water so as to produce uh, that is agoh and again this agoh is uh, basically responsible for uh, giving us uh, uh, an alcohol when ever an aqueous agoh is been treated with that of uh, an alkyl halide so again it is a process from where we could obtain an alcohol and uh, so this was the second point and now let us move on to the next one that is the next is reaction with alcoholic kcn or potassium cyanide so whenever uh, alcoholic kcn is been treated with uh, along with that of uh, that is alkyl halide so the product that we could obtain is an alkyl cyanide so uh, this is also a very keen important role for us to understand that uh, how an alkyl cyanide can be prepared and now let us move on to the next one that is the next is the next chemical property that is been exhibited by the alkyl halide that it can react with that of silver cyanide so whenever an alkyl halide is been reacted with that of a silver cyanide the product that we could obtain is not alkyl cyanide but it is alkyl isocyanide so this reaction is what i am going to talk about in the next lecture but these are the few uh, that is a few uh, uh, chemical properties that would be shown by the alkyl halides so now let us move on to the next one that is so there is also more details about the hemolysis that i am going to talk about in uh, the next lecture uh, so whenever an alkyl halide is been treated with that of an uh, that is ammonia so we could obtain basically an alkyl amine and that alkyl amine can be further been reacted with that of uh, the alkyl halide so as to form the uh, derivatives of uh, ammonia so this is the fifth uh, point or this is the fifth chemical property that i was talking about and now let us move on to the next one that is uh, what will happen if uh, the alkyl cyanide is been treated with reaction of alkyl cyanide with that of sodium alkoxide so this kind of reaction whenever an alkyl halide is been treated with that of a sodium uh, alkoxide is known as williamson synthesis of ether so this is what i am going to talk about in next lecture also and now let us move on to the next one that is reaction with sodium metal so alkyl halides can easily react with that of a sodium metal so as to form uh, the larger number of uh, hydrocarbon for example if i am talking about uh, methyl chloride if methyl chloride is been treated with uh, that is uh, sodium metal so another mole another molecule of a methyl chloride that would be reacted with that of the sodium so as to produce uh, that is ethane so in this case basically they form such a molecule where we could find that the number of carbon atoms are been increased in a particular molecule so that kind of reaction is basically known as woods reaction and that also in deep detail we are going to talk about in the next lecture and uh, talking about the last one that is So whenever an alkyl halide is been treated with that of an silver acetate, the product that we could form is basically an ester. So therefore, these are the few uh, uh, topics or the few chemical properties that are been uh, shown by the alkyl halides, and this is what I was talking about. So 
so please stay tuned to the next lecture and where i could explain uh, this all kind of uh, the chemical properties uh, that are been exhibited by the alkyl head so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know that uh, what are the different chemical properties that could be uh, exhibited by the alkyl head so i hope you will share this video with the friends and yes don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much